Hello YouTube, Connor Comics here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Batman Volume 1, The Court of Owls, and this is part of the New 52. This is done by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. Cap Capullo? Yeah. And I don't know, I know, he's the writer, he's the artist, but I don't know who Jonathan, who that Jonathan guy is. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is such a good comic. It introduced and he, Scott Snyder introduced a new villain into the mythos very well with the Court of Owls. The whole thing is that they've been there the whole time and in like every building in Gotham and they haven't appeared till now. I really like that idea because then it explains why nobody else has seen them. And it's very difficult these days to add new characters into the mythos that people will like. Uh, because they have their favourites. And that's always a problem. Because with them having their favourites, it has its difficulties. But he did, he did this really well. And yeah, the art is very nice. Um... The writing is very good. It goes into more of Bruce Wayne as uh, sort of goes through him as a detective um, and really shows it off well. Um, so, yeah, the writing's good, the art is good. Uh, let me show you some of these. Uh, let me find a good one. Probably should have prepared beforehand, but. Oh yeah, while I'm here, the Court of Owls have these guys, they're called the Talons, uh, and they are sort of like the assassins of the Court of Owls. Uh, let me show you a good picture of what the Court of Owls look like. Uh, there. The guys with those sort of owl masks, and there's the Talon in the centre. So in this book, you really see him. Going around finding all. You see a bit where he's. Is it in this book or in the second book? Uh, yeah, see. When he was younger, he went exploring. So it goes into more the detective side. Like it says, I've been locating a building, old, abandoned, and all of this. And. Yeah, you have. That's Dick Grayson there. There's another picture where it's him in his costume. Where is it? Uh, he's in his costume. What is that? There's a bit where he's in his costume. Sorry about this. Should have probably been more prepared. Uh... There. You have all the people here, Nightwing, Damien, Batgirl, there's that, Catwoman, and I think that's Batwing. Yeah. Uh, the art is good, as I've shown you. The writing is good in how they introduce uh, a new, um, that's it, a villain into the mythos. Uh, he's he. You can tell that Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo love the character, and like you can see some where some writers where it's just sort of the same old. Oh, this is a Batman story and other things, um, but yeah, very good. Court of Owls, I really enjoyed that even after this is how much I enjoyed it. I got Volume 2, sorry about this, City of Owls, and then I got Volume 3, Death in the Family. So now I have three of the comics, there'll be a review out for that one. Uh, and three I still have to get round to reading, I just have a big pile on my side to read, like, Superman, um, Aquaman. I think that's actually it. 
Yes, no, Superman, Aquaman, and then I'll go through Batman. I think I'll read Batman after Superman. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, if you've enjoyed this review, tell me if you want to see the review of the City of Ours, because I also have that as well. Um, what you'll see on this channel is more the main heroes, like, I want to read all of the people that are in the Justice League, and then I may move on to other books, like Justice League Dark, Swamp Thing, Animal Man, uh, Teen Titans, Red Hood and the Outlaws, just more things that if you go onto YouTube, you won't sort of see reviews for, uh, just so that... Because you see a lot of reviews of Batman, but I'm just trying to get them out of the way so I have some videos on the channel while I've got exams at the moment. But yeah, this is a very good story. I'll recommend it to anyone who's a big Batman fan. But thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And goodbye.